hey what's going on guys uh, I got another video in this Lee neck call it series um, we're gonna talk lengths here so I've got Hornady new brass I've also got once fired Hornady 243 win and then I've got twice fired Hornady 243 win so the Hornady brass I full length sized uh, all of it then on a few select pieces I did neck only sizing on top of full length sizing so I guess that's not neck only I just neck sized full length size brass uh, hoping that I get better uh, hoping that I get more consistent neck tension versus the full length Lee die um, as far as that goes I don't know we'll deal with that another time so the point of this video is I have measured a bunch of Hornady new, once fired, and twice fired. What I'm interested in here is uh, how much the grass is growing. So let's take a look, measure some up, and see how it goes. Now unfortunately this isn't like a perfectly scientific test because the Hornady brass was too short for my trimmer that I had, so they vary a little bit. But I've already measured these, and basically, what we're looking at, the new brass, this one's like 2.037. Seems like most of the new brass is 037, 038, right in there. The once fired brass, which I have decapped and tumbled, so it's pretty right now, um, is usually about 2.041 to 2.042. And as I measure multiple through here, occasionally I'll get a short one, occasionally I'll get a long one. Here's two in a row, 2.042, which is good. Uh, I'm kind of looking for the average overall. So here's 2.040. So once fired, it definitely did grow. Uh, but at that point, I only neck sized it and went and shot it again. So let's take a look at twice fired neck size brass. Oh, that one's 2.042. 2.045 this is really exciting footage isn't it uh, 2.043 so just a little bit of growth there 2.044 and a half and 2.044 so yeah so there's the idea um, basically we went from 38 to just over 40, and now we're close to 45 thousandths here. So this one's 2.046. So neck only sizing, my brass is still growing. Um, I would have to conduct another test specifically with full length sizing and see how that compares with grass with brass growth. Um, so I don't have like this perfect comparison to make, but if you're just full length sizing, it does not mean that you won't ever have to trim your brass again. Uh, it still grows uh, and it stretches out over time. So that's basically what I wanted to convey here. Um, I finally did get a case comparator and a bullet comparator. So we'll actually be able to watch uh, headspace on pieces of brass. So why don't we check the headspace on my rifle real quick. So if you're unfamiliar with what a case comparator is, that's it right there. You've probably seen it in other reloading channels. Uh, it's got a specific dimension uh, hole cut into it. And what this is going to do is it allows the neck of the brass to run up inside of that. And then you zero your calipers up against the base of this. And then you try and get your brass zeroed, which can be a little bit tricky. So that was once fired brass here twice fired brass there let's check hornady new brass this is after i full length sized brand new hornady brass it's still shiny in the primer pocket down in the case neck you won't be able to see that but so let's check what the head spacing was set to so 1.625 is that upside down no 1.624 1.625 somewhere in there yeah, so let's check one other piece and see if I was getting consistent headspace with the uh, full length sizing on the factory brass. 
1.625. Awesome. Let's throw that back in the bag. Oh no, that's terrible. At least I can find my new piece easy enough. Okay, now let's check once fired. 1.625 to 1.627. Perfect. Two thousandths, uh, blowing the shoulder out two thousandths. It's basically what you want to resize to anyway, so that's basically perfect. 1.628 maybe, so let's try one other case, see how that compares. 1.627, excellent. So that brass, going by Lee's dies specs, uh, going down to the shell holder, then another quarter turn in, and then ramming the press all the way up against it to a nice good firm press on it. Uh, push the shoulder back to two thousandths from where my brass needed to be. Uh, yeah, so on twice fired, after neck sizing only, 1627. So on that specific piece, let's see if we get that again. 1626 and a half. 1627. So I think it picked up just one extra thousandth on the second firing, as well as growing just a bit. Um, but that could be blamed on the shoulder angle of the 243. And 1.625 and a half, 1.626. So apparently my headspace is set pretty well compared to what the lead eye that I have is and what they suggest to set it to, which is a good thing. It makes it easy for me. I just go by Lee's uh, specifications, I'll push the shoulders back two thousandths, and all is good. Uh, neck only sizing brass, still stretches a bit, but uh, of course with different cartridge designs your results may vary, uh, like something with a sharper shoulder angle, it's believed to be that it doesn't grow as much. The 243 has a pretty mellow shoulder angle and it's known to stretch and grow and have kind of a short case life. So. Just thought this would be interesting, uh, kind of as a follow-up video. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. Uh, if anybody else has done a test similar to this, I mean, like I say, this isn't exactly scientific. This is just one set of data. It would be way better if I had another set of data to go off of and say, hey, if I full length sized, it grew an extra four thousandths compared to the neck only, but I didn't do that. So, my bad, whatever. Um, I won't get the chance with the 243 because it's uh, going bye bye soon so appreciate your guys time we'll talk to you later i appreciate all the comments all the new subscribers so most excellent we'll see you guys in the next video